Hello and welcome to What's in My Dance Notebook. I'm Dana Beaufay, aka Weirdo Chick, and let's get started. So this is my oldest dance notebook. I made this when I was in high school. I painted it with acrylic paints on the front for a project that I needed to turn in. But now I use it to store all of my old notes, costume designs, stuff like that. I created this sheet with my friend at RDI Productions. And um, yeah, it's great for marking out costumes. It's got the front and the back. And then it's got swatch spaces and title spaces on the top. And I just put all of my costumes that are finished in this notebook to save for later. Here's a sheet uh, that we use for, that I use for choreography. Or you can just mark out the choreographies, typed choreographies, anything like that. This is how, where I've evolved from. This is how I used to draw my costume designs like 10 years ago. I just draw little figures, draw little, little dancers. What I like to do when I keep my stored dances and art projects all together is I'll have the typed out finalized uh, choreography with the title, the name of the song, how long the song was, and then I'll have my written notes, which I usually start by handwriting them, and then I'll transfer them to a form or something, and then my costume design. And then I'll put the costume design on the back of the page and put the choreography with the title page on the front. And then I'll just store them in the notebook. Sometimes if I have swatches of the fabric, I'll, I'll store it with the picture. Uh, you can store your news articles, clippings, whatever you have related to your dance. You can put one of these three ring binders, super handy. Just have them on the wall themselves. Also super handy to have notebooks, just plain notebooks. I like this rocket book because it's erasable. I can put this whole thing in the microwave and everything will disappear and I can just keep reusing it and reusing it. Another great thing about it is it uses these friction pins, which are erasable on any kind of paper. Uh, they click, the little clip clicks. It takes me, people a while to figure that out. And you just draw. And then the QR code at the bottom uh, scans each page and you can mark off these little symbols and have them sent to like your email, your drive, text message, whatever you hook those symbols up to link wise will digitally save it and then you can just erase the whole notebook and start over again. Eco-friendly! And then also like a small sturdy notebook that you can take with you to workshops, into class, so you don't have to carry around your whole dance notebook. Or if the workshop doesn't allow video, you can write down notes and then videotape yourself later doing it to kind of help yourself remember. Because I don't know about you, but I forget workshop stuff and those things are expensive. <laughs> um, and you don't want to forget. That's the whole point of going to the workshop. So this is my yearly planner. Yes, I still keep a written planner. I don't use my phone for everything. I, I find it hard to remember dates when I don't write them down. I like this planner, it's called uh, Planner Pads. Um, and it's got the full month and then it has the week that breaks it down. And then the back is shiny so I can use a dry erase marker to take notes and keep little things that are temporary written in there. So that's great for like your dance goals and things like that. And then of course, the, in the modern era, we have iPads, which you can take video on, you can use apps, which I'm going to do a video for belly dance apps soon. Um, all kinds of options. And then this is my big memo jamma, my most recent dance notebook. I like to collect stickers and things to put on the front. <laughs> um, and on the back, there's Cami. I got uh, Raven's Night, Belladonna, and a couple of other stickers on there. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of great things in this dance notebook that I really like to still have around when I'm not using my iPad and my phone. Uh, this template, which I got when I was like seven <laughs> from a Barbie designer fashion kit, um, 
If you can find one, that's awesome. Um, if you can't, you can always find a body form that you like or that fits your body type and trace it onto a thicker cardstock or cardboard and cut that out and keep that in your dance notebook. I like to keep a hole punch in my dance notebook so that if I get handouts at workshops or um, from other instructors, I can put them in my notebook and I have a pin holder and a little belly dance layering card game um, in case I need some inspiration. I like to have a title page. That's some of my art. I screen printed that poster and that's also some of my art that I uh, drew up and that Spoonie did for me. I've got some quick theatrical notes, more choreographies I'm working on right now. There's also a lot of uh, resources online for belly dance planners and notebooks. This one is the bellydancebundle.com. Uh, you can sign up for newsletters. There are dancers who provide free goal-oriented spreadsheets online. I have a makeup sheet that I made for my makeup workshops where you can plan out troop makeup looks or individual looks to go with costumes. There's a completed cheese fairy costume. So those are just ones that I'm working on, that I'm organizing, and that are more modern. That's everything from all of my dance notebooks. I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay weird. If you'd like to check out any of my worksheets that I showed today from the choreographer's notebook, there should be a link in the description. Please leave a comment on how you like to organize your dance notebook, or if you have any questions about some of the things I've shown you today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so when I put out my next video, you'll know. Bye!